For the adductors, we're gonna start here on the muscle belly. And you see the patient is positioned in this way. You have to do that because otherwise your probe cannot get in between. Uh, then if you look at the image, you're gonna see uh, first the longus. So this is the adductor longus. It has a line in the center. That's the central tendon of this adductor. If you scan it in short axis, this is the adductor. You, adductor. you can also see it's more or less like a cauliflower. That is the central tendon of the adductor. Yeah. So if I go long axis again, it's not oh, swiping off. So it's not that it's two muscles. This is just one muscle, and that's the tendon in between. Then here, a less, bit less thick of a muscle belly. That's the muscle belly of the adductor brevis. And then beneath it, the bigger one, that's the uh, magnus. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna follow these structures upwards to proximal in that direction. And we're gonna see what we are going to get on the image. So we keep following the central tendon of the uh, adductor longus. We go towards the insertion and then we have to adjust some of the settings to get a better image. Beautiful. And now we have a very nice picture. Uh, this is the top layer of the tendon. The deep layer does a bit like this, so it becomes a bit wider near its attachment. Uh, the bone here looks very pretty regular, you know, there's no irregularities. The tendon looks pretty much the same brightness, doesn't look thickened. So this looks like a very normal adductor tendon in this case. Uh, and yeah, and there's in this case you can see it beautifully sometimes, yeah this is good, you can get a bit of anisotropy so you have to play around with the angulation of your probe a bit to get a good view.